Hello everybody and welcome back to the ASUS YouTube page. This is JJ and uh, we're bringing you something pretty special this time around. Normally you guys know we like to focus on a lot of different types of product that we bring to the market, uh, including motherboards, graphics cards, and uh, on occasion we have spotlighted actually some of the monitors on our test bed. Um, but very recently we actually just launched a brand new Q, uh, WQHD high resolution panel that we've actually been using here uh, in a couple of our different test bed videos to bring you 2560 by 1440 results. Um, so that's actually what I have right here uh, to the right hand side of me. It's our brand new PB278Q uh, series monitor. So it's a 2560 by 1440 display. But we're going to be teaming up this display with a number of other items that uh, really the enthusiasts love to take a look at. That's going to be actually our Maximus 5 Extreme uh, multi GPU capable motherboard and two GTX 690s. Uh, with that, we're then going to go ahead and actually take two more of these actual PB panels and bring you actually a 3D surround experience uh, in terms of three panels unified for one single resolution and uh, giving us a total resolution of 7668 by 1440. So some pretty awesome stuff in terms of just taking a look at what is capable on this current generation of PC enabled hardware. Uh, so before we jump into the actual gameplay we're going to go ahead and touch on a couple of the key components that we're utilizing in terms of the setup. Okay guys so first up we've got right here our brand new WQHD panel so once again this is a 2560 by 1440 display so a high resolution display significantly higher than of course a standard 1920 by 1080 p based panel so this is really focused for you guys out there that are interested in high resolution based content whether you're talking about high resolution photography, uh, you want improved workspace, or of course uh, for what we're going to be utilizing it, really high fidelity, um, high image quality, and high resolution uh, PC based gaming. So uh, here we've got an awesome quality PLS based panel which is very comparable in terms of the performance you have in IPS and in many situations actually can provide uh, higher brightness values as well as actually um, uh, equivalent or sometimes even better viewing angles. So overall a really impressive display, LED backlighting technology, and of course our awesome uh, SRB calibration technology built in here with our Splendid preset. So this is going to be a really great panel. Uh, one key note to kind of also keep in mind for you guys that want to know the display input, connecti uh, excuse me, uh, the display input connectivity. You've got Dual Link DVI, HDMI, which also supports 2560 resolutions, and then uh, you have DisplayPort as well. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the test bed. As far as our test bed, we've got a pretty high-end setup here. We've got Corsair's 400R chassis. Although I make the recommendation that uh, with the Maximus 5 Extreme motherboard, you're probably going to want to consider. Uh, one of the graphite or obsidian series just to give you a little bit more spacing because of the size of the motherboard which we're utilizing which is going to be the Maximus 5 Extreme. So it's an awesome multi GPU capable board, uh, tons of features, of course multi GPU support which you can see right here we're running two uh, Asus uh, GTX 690 series graphics cards. Uh, one of them does look a little bit different because it's an engineering sample so keep that in mind in terms of the look differential. Uh, we then have some awesome high performance Corsair uh, top of the line memory with their dominant or Platinum Series kits. Uh, these are actually 4 gigabyte DIMMs, 2666 speed, and then from there we're utilizing two Corsair 120 gigabyte uh, uh, Force GT Series SSDs in a RAID 0. And then lastly, of course, powering this entire setup, we've got a high performance 90 plus uh, power supply in terms of the Corsair AX 850 watt. And then, of course, in terms of peripheral connectivity, uh, we got a Corsair Mechanical Series keyboard uh, in the K90, and then we've got other M Series uh, gaming mouse. We've gone ahead and set up our three panels in a 3D surround configuration. This is not to be confused with 3D vision surround and it being a 3D uh, three panel configuration but this is just going to be a actual 2D setup um, but it's still noted as being 3D surround because of course we're going to be playing a 3D title. So we've gone ahead and composited all of these monitors um, from their 2560 by 1440 resolution into that new resolution of 7000. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our screen resolution on the screen and you can see right there we've gone ahead and enabled 7680 by 1440 which you can now see is spanned across all three panels uh, and now as part of this uh, 3D vision, excuse me, this 3D surround setup you can see that uh, the cool thing that we have with the PB series is a lot of flexibility how you're able to actually adjust the panel uh, whether it's going to be it and pivoting it rotating it uh, or making multiple adjustments so that you can really best uh, make it work within your actual work uh, space environment or your desktop environment. So you can see right here because of that we've been able to set up a nice kind of curved base setup display for what we're going to be doing in terms of our 3D gameplay. There's over 200 other drivers and about 3,000 miles of asphalt between here and New York. Sounds good to me. We're up. Get to Mount Hill or you'll miss the race start. Here, 
saw we just finished wrapping up some runs there from Need for Speed the run as well as from Batman Arkham City uh, at 7680 by 1440 uh, spread across three panels specifically our new PB uh, WQHD uh, 2560 by 1440 panel uh, and as you saw it's just another level of immersion that you have available to you on the high-end side of PC gaming when you consider taking not only this high performance monitor uh, that by itself would be an awesome gaming panel on it uh, but then combining with multiple panels uh, and then combine that with a high performance motherboard and a high-end GPU part uh, like the 690 or the 600 series uh, that we've shown you here on the channel and you just get a whole other level of immersion and gameplay so as always guys if you have any questions comments feedback we'd love to hear them here on the YouTube page I take a lot of time to actually feedback to you guys directly or you can also make sure to hit us up at Facebook or Twitter as well and leave us some commentary and feedback there and as always if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure and subscribe and let us know that you enjoyed the video